it's me, Red Brick Studios, and I'm coming at you with another video. Today, I'm going to be doing a two-in-one review of the Array and Kylo Ren Brickheads. Uh, numbers, uh, the Ray one is 41602, and the Kylo Ren one is 41603, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the Ray one has 119 pieces, and the Kylo Ren one has 130 pieces. Obviously, it's Kylo Ren and, uh, Kylo Ren and Ray, and it's ages 10 uh, and up for both of them. And yeah, um, so this is going to be different because obviously I'm working with Brickheads. I've never reviewed a Brickhead before, so I, and these are also my first Brickheads ever, so I don't know kind of how to do it yet, but... Um, I mean, I, I knew how to do it, but like, I, it's cool. I've never done it before, so it's really cool. Um, and yeah, so I think we're going to take a look at Ray separately first and then take a look at Kylo Ren. So let's do that now. So taking a look at Ray separately, um, with these brickheads, it comes on a stand. Um, looks like that has series two written on it. That is a printed piece. No stickers in this set. It's on a six by six plate with some stats on the uh, tile pieces sorry about that and then I have the ray brick head which looks awesome these things come out so nicely I love the way her hair looks in the back which I'm gonna show you in a second love the way her hair looks in the back um, and her lightsaber it's really awesome uh, the one thing is, I wish they had done custom lightsabers for this, because doing, like, the same old lightsaber is not cool, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's, that's Rey. They all kind of have the same eyes. She's got really nice ear details, um, if that makes any sense. And she's got a printed piece on the front of her torso. So yeah, that's the Ray Brickhead. Um, let's just take a look at the Ray Brickhead box. I'm going to keep these boxes, and I'm hopefully going to do like a collection video on these. And yeah, so um, first side, you've got Ray, you've got Star Wars, you've got some Brickhead design and stuff. You've also got the number, it's number 25. Uh, then you got Lego Brickhead, and you got this really cool Ray art, which is really cool. Then you got Ray 25. Then you got the two together, which obviously that's why I'm reviewing them together. They're, I think they're a co-pack in the U.S. too, which is cool. But anyways, Disney, uh, that. And then on this side, it's just kind of blank. And then on the top, you got this weird blue stud. And on the bottom, there's this. And inside the box, I did actually leave the instruction booklets, which is kind of fun. I thought it was a good way to store Brickhead instruction booklets. And so, yeah, that's the instruction booklet. I'm not even going to show you. I don't even think there's anything in here. Oh, well, there's this. But other than that, there's nothing in here that you guys would really want to see. Um, and yeah, just shoving that back in there quickly. This That's my opinion on the Ray Brickhead. Really glad I picked this one up. I think it's an amazing Brickhead. Uh, it's the second Brickhead I actually picked up. I picked up Kylo Ren first. But, yeah, it looks amazing. And, guy, I recommend this to you guys. I love these new brick heads. I think they're so cool. It's so cool. I'm so glad Lego did this. It's like someone said, oh, look at how much money Pop's making. Why don't we make those out of Legos? Like, you know, those, like, Pop bobblehead minifigures. Like, why don't we make those out of Legos? And now they have. So, it's pretty awesome. I really like it. And, yeah. So, let's uh, switch over to Kylo Ren now. Okay, guys, getting, taking a look at Kylo Ren, and this is saving the best for the last. Kylo Ren is my favorite Brickhead so far. I mean, I only have two, but Kylo Ren is my favorite Brickhead so far. Uh, he's got the most pieces, um, and yeah, he's super cool. I love this Brickhead so much. The hair detail, they get so nicely, and the cape, I love the way the cape kind of comes down like that and then you've also got this his tri lightsaber which is awesome he's got the same series 2 plate as um as a uh, uh ray had sorry um and yeah it's on a 6x6 plate again too as well so same thing same thing overall um he's got the same face uh 
like facial stuff um except he's got a scar which looks amazing i love that that's all printed and he's also got that pimple thing below his eye right there um which is cool he's also got two printed pieces on the bottom here and this is why i like this guy because of all the printed pieces we get we get one two three four five six printed pieces uh, yeah 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 we get six printed pieces and it's all in the front and i think kylo ren looks amazing um, and so just taking a look at the Kylo Ren box here, um, we got Kylo Ren, we got, same thing as Bray, just with Kylo Ren on it, pretty much. And it's just got Brickhead and stuff, and then here's the top. Uh, notice something different is that, like, the last one was blue, and now it's gray. I, I don't understand. Like, there's a gray brick inside Kylo Ren, so I don't know if that's what they're referring to, like, that gray brick right there. Um, because there's actually a blue brick inside Ray, I don't know if they're all going to have their own separate brick, but whatever. This one's 26, so it's the second one, um, or it's the next one. You got this amazing Kylo Ren box art right here. You got the two minifigures, how it goes on the stand, and the blank side, and then the bottom, which is also blank. Obviously, I left the manual in here as well, so we're just going to open that up. Kylo Ren again, and then the inside's gonna be the same. It's with Kylo Ren and Rey, which is awesome. I love these two brickheads. They're amazing. I give both of them a 10 out of 10. Uh, I give the Brickhead series a 10 out of 10 so far. They, they haven't let me down at all. Brickheads so far have been amazing, and I can't wait to get more. I honestly want to get more Brickheads that aren't even, like, Lego Star Wars, because I'm a fan of, like, comics and whatever whatnot uh like the justice league movie was amazing uh, make sure you guys go watch that but yeah um i am gonna get some of those and if you guys want to see reviews make sure to comment down in the description now let's get these both back in the frame okay getting them both back in the frame this is gonna be my thoughts on these two brickheads and brickhead series as a total as as a whole the Brickhead series as a whole, I think, is amazing. It's such a great idea. Like I said, it's like someone saw Pop and was like, wow, they're making so much money off those bobbleheads. What if we built them in Lego? And obviously they did. Um, and I think that's what they were going to for, too, with the small lightsabers. I had say earlier that, like, they kind of should have been bigger lightsabers and, like, different, like, hand pieces. But now that I think about it, on the Pop minifigures, or not minifigures, on the Pop fig figs, um... Like, it's a small lightsaber, it's small body, huge head. Like, it's supposed to pop out, kind of. And that's probably why it's called pop. Um, anyways, um, I really love it. I think it's a really great, like, it's almost like the minifigure series. It's something that, even if it's not Star Wars, I want to collect it. Which is good from Lego's point of view. And I think that's amazing. Now, looking at this from a Star Wars point of view, we're getting, like, original trilogy characters soon. Um in the summer wave, so excited, gonna go out and might not even buy any of the other sets, just buy those brickheads, it's gonna be amazing, I think we're getting Princess Leia, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, uh, Han Solo, maybe even Boba Fett, that'll be amazing, um, but for right now, with Kylo Ren and Rey from The Last Jedi, I think they look amazing, and yeah, I don't have anything else to say, honestly, they look, they look amazing, and I think they're totally worth the, um, I think it's ten dollars that you pay for it um i think it's ten dollars a brickhead or maybe it's 12. i'm not sure i think it's ten dollars in the u.s and maybe 12 in canada or it's eight in the u.s and 12 in, or 10 in canada i i don't know but they're worth it for whatever you're paying for these are amazing um so guys i recommend that you go pick these up and yeah uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. This has been Red Brick Studios. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.